This is the Amp Hour Podcast, recorded September 3rd, 2012. Episode 111, Demonstrative Dip Decregulosis. Welcome to the Amp Hour. I'm Dave Jones from the EEV blog. And I'm Chris Gamble of Chip Report TV and Chris Gamble's Analog Life. Oh, plug in both there. Oh, yeah. You got to do both. And we do not have Bob are, Simpson today. Sorry. Uh, we are noticeably, yeah, absent. I, uh, <laughs> we are absent. We were supposed to have him on, but uh, unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Um, at the last minute, so uh, we're winging it, and Chris is really worried. Oh, I'm I'm out of yeah. I'm he's he's packing for... lumpies because he's such an organized <laughs> dude. If you don't... I'm off my game now. Yeah, packing and lumpies. Like, That's yeah, a new so one. So he's just going to mumble the whole show. No right. pun intended. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I was. Ex- yeah, I'm expecting. You know, guest shows are easy for us. We just ask questions, and they. Yeah, yeah. They, they just do all let the them talk. And, yeah, yeah, it's great. Now, I know. Now I'm. Yeah. So I'm, your mind is just mush. I'm, now. Yeah, I'm. I'm still trying to get. Kaiser on the on the phone here. Right? We'll see if he cuts in late. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to get yeah. Jeff on yeah. at the last, like with you know. Look, we've already started. Oh yeah, want to join well, us? Oh boy, yes. Yeah, we'll see. Oh boy. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the advantage of living your life in chaos. I was telling that's, you. That's if, right. If you live an organized life, if it doesn't go to plan, you're you're screwed. You sit there going, "Oh no, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do." <laughs> yeah, well, live you- your life in chaos, dude. You've you've got me pegged. Yep. All right. That, I'm just always running around like a chicken with my head cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Insert chicken noise in post yeah, right? edit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. Anyway, we will get Bob back on another episode. Great. Great. Yep. Uh, uh, so, so we're just yeah we're really winging it here, folks. Like we were actually classic, just a minute away it. from. Yeah. Yep. We were a minute away from recording, and then we found out he couldn't make it so we're we just hit our bugger it we'll hit record and here we are yeah well, that's fun it's like the, the old professional days show. Yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> professional show. Oh. <laughs> well you got a trade show coming up though right i do have a trade show oh man if uh, I, I i barely even started organizing the thing well, how, that i can how, how tell people this? now how do not it? get yourself a trade show stand it's just a whole <laughs> bunch of worry you know yeah uh, well, I'm sure it's something where it's like you do it once, right? If or if you were hmm. gonna do a lot, you'd be much better off because then you'd actually invest yep. the money, you know, get those fancy ass roll out displays, you know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I used to do trade shows for like hiring co ops and stuff like that. And it's not yep. really a trade show; it's just like a job fair. Mm-hmm. And, and we'd have like this big tag board sign, you know, and like mm-hmm. carrying that in the middle of winter in Cleveland is a lot more difficult <laughs> than you see. You see these people in suits just, you know, whistling the way down the street. Do, 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 do. And then, you <laughs> and know, they're just rolling this nice little pull case up. behind them. Yeah, they're just, you know, they're, they're happy <laughs> yep. as a clam. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm like literally getting blown away. I look like I'm carrying, I look like I'm windsurfing here down, <laughs> down the, the Cleveland avenues, you know, like. So, That's uh, nothing, dude. I drove all the way. I drove halfway up the U.S. Uh, West Coast in a van with a truckload of bloody gear in the back for a trade <laughs> show. You know? Oh yeah, and, that's right. You mentioned that before. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then every time you go to a trade show, because here they're always overseas, right? You know, yeah, the big yeah. ones. So you go to. So you know, most companies that go to these trade shows regularly, they already have, as you said, all the stuff, right? They have, or, you know, we've got all these flight cases, you know, that we pack everything in and we've got the display, you know, the custom display stands and all that sort of stuff. And, and, and a, a lot of that will carry over from one show to the next. And, uh, you've got to cart all this crap around. And, and, uh, once, um, somebody within the company who's all involved in organizing it knows that you're one of the people going, oh, can you carry this? Can you carry this? Can you carry this? And there's people giving you, you know, uh, packed bags at the last second and you get to the airport. Did you pack your own bags? Um, sir? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, Do you sir, know what's in the bag? Here, please, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Somebody at the company just packed it for me. <laughs> yeah, know? don't do that in and the US, bend man. Over, sir. Yeah, you'll get a you'll get a, a surprise. <laughs> you'll get a TSA rubber glove. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh man. No so, yearly checkup of the doctor needed, right? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> You're in full health. Oh, and it's yeah. chaos. So, yeah. So you you know, if you're doing these things regularly, you have stuff 
Well, not even that. Display. I mean, some you know? companies have entire departments just meant for. Oh, they, yeah. That's all they do, and I, I can't imagine that life. I mean, it's it's not an easy life. It's a lot of standing no, around. It's, it's I mean, yep. there's a lot of beer to be drank after the shows. <laughs> I mean, like it's a tough life. Well, we've <laughs> talked about that before. How tough it is standing all day on a trade show yeah. stand. It's you know. Yeah, it's no fun. And yeah. you're going to be doing it, huh? And now I'm going to be doing it. You said uh, the amp hour is going to be there as well. In, well, in spirit. Te- they're technically listed, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to get a big cardboard cut out of you? Oh, yeah. Are you going to stand me? I'll just stand slightly behind you. I'll just uh, off, to, <laughs> right. off to the back. Just that that guy who looks like he doesn't know what he's supposed to be saying this week because he uh, <laughs> his, his world was upended. <laughs> I did. I must confess, I tweeted this. I did order a... A six foot cardboard cutout of myself. <laughs> That's so I can't wait to see it. I know it's gonna be hilarious because yes. A, I've got to have something in the stand um when I'm not there, when I'm actually out walking around blogging the show, because I've got to blog the show as well. Right? Yeah. I've, I've got to blog the event. So, you know, I mean can't be in two places at once. Right. Yeah. And uh, and you know, and I need something to hang a sign on, you know, next live tear down at two PM, you know. Right, right, right. So I can <laughs> It'd be funny me watching me walk around carrying a cardboard cut out of myself. That'd be <laughs> well, so. Like if stand, anyone yeah. at the show can secretly snap a photo of that, <laughs> is there is there a prize on offer for somebody who snaps yeah, right. a photo of me carrying my own cardboard cut how about, out? How about the prizes? You they get a they get a picture with you uh, a Dave sandwich, you get <laughs> a, a cardboard Dave on one side, a real Dave on the other. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yikes. Oh man. Oh, that's and then, that's gonna be great. Oh, though. It's just all the little. Things like now, I'm starting to worry that you know I'm not going to have it together in time. What I'm going to have on there, how you actually, you know, you know, just the small stuff like you know how you're going to put the table, where you're going to get a table from, where you're going to yeah, put yeah. things, power cords. Like they don't even have power coming into these yeah. stands. You've got to actually pay for that separately to get power onto your stand. It's like holy crap. Yeah. You know. You know, oh, I was just I was just thinking about this cardboard cutout and. Uh, <laughs> Since I, I'm guessing your You've wife got the isn't, mental image now, yeah, yeah, I'm guessing your wife isn't going to volunteer to be a booth babe. So maybe you should you should dress the cardboard cutout in like a hula skirt, and that could be your booth babe, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> your stand-in slash booth babe. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't even funny. know if I'm getting it. Now, like I've ordered it, but I yeah. haven't heard back from the company who makes it. So it's like, well, I don't know. Is it, have you shipped it yet? <laughs> what my damn cardboard cutout? <laughs> Oh, the ultimate uh, ego. I love it. I can't yeah, wait to see this I, thing. I, I can't I wait to see to. it. <laughs> I know. It's going to be hilarious. But, yeah, yeah, I don't know what to do. You know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try and live stream it, but all that is sort of like winging it on the day because I don't know what type of internet connection I'm going to get there, whether yeah. it's going to be reliable. I just, you know, I don't know anything. Then I'm organizing uh, freebies at the moment. So, mm. um, yes, yeah, so about yet. that. What are you going to give away? Come by my stand. Yeah, there will be. Freebies? Are you giving something away in particular or no? Um, yes, I'll be giving away a um, something from my uh, friends in New- uh, Circuit Labs in New Zealand. Hopefully. Oh, nice. nice. So, um, yeah, a uh, custom-designed uh, uh, thing, so which will be handy. Yeah, but definitely. I, I, I don't think I'll have enough for everyone, so it'll be, I think it'll early. be based on a secret password. You know, the secret, what's the secret password? I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Great Scott. Same nice. as last time. So if you come up to me at the trade show and you say, Great Scott, you'll get a freebie if nice. I haven't run out. Yeah, that's good. A yeah. uh, whole new experience, uh, man. Dave, I know, the, it's, the trade show. Uh, yeah, I don't Maven. know. And, and the only reason I'm doing it is because I got the stand for free. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just not like I'm going to pay the... You know, a couple no, of thousand ass. dollars it costs for a... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't Just need like the me. publicity that bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're, there's tight asses. Engineers are tight asses by nature, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, there's no way I'd ever um, do my own trade show stand. But, hey, I was I was um, doing... I'm the official blogger for the event. Um, so, you know, they, they gave me a stand. Hey, you would you like a stand? Yeah. And then I didn't realize what I was getting myself in for. So, yeah. Yeah. And, the, and the fear is that it's going to be lame and embarrassing. You know, you don't want to be, we've talked about this before, you don't want to be just the one guy there with the table and a chair, sitting, you know, looking sad, just right, tweeting, on your laptop. you know, just yeah. messaging on his phone, just sitting in his lame-ass booth, right, with nothing to show. 
Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's that's just sad. Yeah, just walk by and you go, loser. You know, you just mumble <laughs> under your breath. <laughs> no. I was just, I just figure they, they don't have budget for it, you know. It's just like, well, might as well go. But Yeah, yeah, exactly. Might as well go and have a presence and meet yeah. people and... Yep. Yeah, and that's a good tip for people if you are at a trade show and you see someone and, and, and you do happen to read their you know printed out sign that was on a laser jet printer and it's something interesting, <laughs> that person will probably yep. grasp on to you for having someone to talk about if you really want to talk about something. So mm-hmm. those those are the best people to talk to because they often have the most time uh, versus hey, a lot go of Go up to that sad looking person sitting alone in their booth and they'll talk to you for hours. and then, Right, yep. exactly, exactly. Yep. Uh, they'll be your new best friend. That's right, that's mm-hmm. right. Ah, boy. So let's hit up the Reddit list because, as people know now, we have a Reddit list where we add in questions throughout the week or, or uh, um, news stories or anything like that. And you can vote them up. And you can, yeah. And, and we know, won't I, talk about them. <laughs> because, what well, do you mean? Like, maybe oh, we will. Well, because we haven't really done the thing where we talk, where we rattle off the list of the most popular ones yet, have we? Uh, no, no, we haven't. I mean, you mean you mean like like only go like in order, in in order of which oh. one got the most votes. No, this isn't a you democracy. Know. Come on, this no, is it's a, not. It's a, a it's a dictatorship. Democracy. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's the only way to get things done as a dictatorship. People don't understand this. You know. Right. Well, who's in charge though? Is it you or me? I don't uh, know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just don't give a shit most of the time. <laughs> right. That means I am. <laughs> You're the one who's all organized and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Anyway, I I like this one. Nut job. Here's the title. Chris has put in. Nut job attempts to extort thirty five dollar computer from non profit foundation. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that was a. Uh, this is great. We were talking about it on Twitter. I saw the story on Twitter, and oh crap, I forget who it was now. I'll have to remember who it was. Um, he actually suggested that oh whatever the original title was it shouldn't be that it should be nut job tries to extort this computer this computer and Liz the, who's in charge of the Raspberry Pi Foundation says yeah I like that better let's change the title and that's what the title of it now is, is now <laughs> <laughs> so who's this dude uh, it's, uh, I don't Eben? know it's Eben is that his name oh Eb, Eben's the guy that runs uh, Raspberry Pi Foundation so it's oh, Liz, right, Liz and Eben okay. Eb, Eben's so the one Steve who is the person yeah Steve's Steve the nut is job. the nut job right yeah. Steve's the nut job. And basically, he got a hold of Steve's or Eben's email address and just started chatting with him on G. You can tell it's G Chat, right? And, uh, right. And it's just, uh, you know, he's just, oh, you know, give me a free board, give me a free board. Um, and, he, you know, he can't. It's against the policy, basically. But you, you read it too. I mean, it's just basically. It's, I've, I haven't read it all yet because uh, you just sprung right. it on me before the show. Right. But I'm, I'm looking through it now and it, it looks pretty hilarious. Yeah. Um,. <laughs> And and basically, basically, he just keeps going through all these different things, and you can tell he's just totally full of crap. Uh, <laughs> and and you know, eventually, the guy finally give they finally just ignore him. I I don't know how the hell Evan had so much patience in this, um, <laughs> but he he does. And uh, you know, he just kind of finally the guy goes away. But man, he just tries everything. He says, "Oh, well, I have so much buying power. Oh, I'm a journalist. Oh, I'm a student." <laughs> Oh, you're you know you're a racist. It's like, oh my god, really? Like, where is this guy coming from? So yeah, it was it's insane. It was it and was, it does degenerate into the Jewish argument, folks. Right, that was the That's racist right. comment. Yeah, it was like, yeah. A, yeah, and it's just That's funny. Yeah. Yep. It, you know, it's. I I think this is just a sign of like you know like, like Raspberry Pi. We know this is a very big thing now, right? I mean it, it it's expanded mm-hmm. beyond uh, development board. It's expanded way past you know it's just you know tiny co- Linux computer, right? That's how people yeah. see it now, and uh, and and that's part of the problem is you know like it's is that it's a general it's a it's a mass market now, right? We've seen this in a lot of different mm-hmm. cases, Kickstarter and other things. You deal with a whole new set of problems, and in this case, you. Get a larger jobs. <laughs> yeah, well, you get a larger percentage of the population, and it'll you know the, the bigger you go, the you know the the more you play the numbers, and the more you play the numbers, you get you get some crazies in there. So, uh, well, that's exactly what I've found with my videos. If I do a general interest video, woohoo! Out come the nut jobs, right? As opposed to you know just the odd nut job I'll get if I just release a regular video to a niche audience, right? You exactly. Know? And uh, yeah, they all come out of the woodworks when you stretch your you know your uh, uh, breadth across a larger audience base. Then yeah, oh yeah, well, they all come out. 
It's just as sheer I, statistics. I mean, no, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, as as I've said on here before, and misquoted, probably someone I don't even know who said this, but you know, imagine the the average intelligence of of the population. Now, now half the people are dumber than that, right? It's like right. <laughs> or crazier than that, or you know, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, more desperate than that. Whatever it is, you know, it's, uh-huh. it's yeah. You start playing the numbers, and they start to look pretty grim. <laughs> yeah. So, and they can get really feral as a bit of a case of what happens here if you yeah. don't give them exactly what they want. They right. instantly just snap and turn feral on you. So it's uh, right. You know, it can it can get nasty really quick with these exchanges. Right. Exactly. And yeah, it's people that are used to you know being obnoxious. And because they're obnoxious, they get their way, right? People just shut them up yeah, just yeah, exactly. to get them out of there. And it's like, yeah, well, <laughs> when you can't do it, you can't do it. You know, it's just... Uh, oh, boy. It's, it's a whole lot of... Cra- it's 10 pounds of crazy in a five-pound bag right there. You, you can you can read it yourself. Our, our listening audience can read it. And, and uh, yeah, you'll see how crazy this guy was. So. Oh, terrific. Yeah. News alert. Wages oh. are going up 13% in Shenzhen. Yeah, that was a Wired article this week. It's kind of... Huh. Kind of crazy. It's uh, I don't I don't know what to think about. I mean, like it's it was been coming, right? I mean, like well, it's good. I mean, I've you know yeah. I've been to China and I've talked to the people who work in these yeah. you know uh, factories and the, the the conditions and the pay they get is you know it's just dismal, really. Yeah. You know, I yeah, no, yeah, I, it is. It is. Yeah, you know, I worked. You know, I've been to one of these assembly factories, and they told me that. Oh, at the factory they worked at, if you made a mistake, you pay for it. It comes out of your pay. You know, if really? you break something, or you know, break a board, or you, you know, or you goof up something. Yeah, even if it, you know, if it's a thousand dollar board, you know, as some, you know, as some boards uh, that we were putting through, you know, uh, yeah, were yeah. then, you know, uh, that's that's their wages gone for months. Really, you know, they really like, did yeah. that. They they do that. They they told me I mean, that when, they do that. It's crazy. You just quit at that point. I mean, that's basically just well, quitting, right? You know, that that's why I asked him. You know, why don't you just quit and go? Mm, but there's, you know, they're all the same. They were saying they were telling me. That well, doesn't yeah, matter but where I mean, you like, go. like if so, say say you get paid a hundred bucks a week, right? You break a thousand dollar board. You're not going to be like, oh well, I'll work your ten more weeks and then I'll quit, right? <laughs> well, right, no, no exactly. So they yeah. hang in there. Well, you know, there there are some of them who do and go on. You know, they don't yeah. put up with the shit. Um, well, that's, and, know, and, and that actually gets at the problem of it, right? I mean, maybe at some point there was it was a hard hard time finding another job, right? But these mm. days, there's just so much industry over there. You walk down the street, you get another job immediately, right? And you would think so, yeah. No, no, that's what it is, and and oh, right. and, well. and that is exactly what leads to inflation, right? Not only does that lead to, uh, you know, like tur- mm-hmm. turnover rates at companies, which is horrendous. You know, you in order to keep people, and in order to you know continue to draw people in you have to raise rates basically and that's what leads to the inflation i mean that's why that's why the rates are going up it's not because it's like they're doing it out of the goodness of their hearts as much Mm -hmm. as you know people might want that it's it's no it's it's this is straight up inflation food's getting more expensive housing's getting more expensive you know it's Mm -hmm. just cities are more crowded everything there uh it it has to do that and that's why the minimum wage is going up i mean the government's moving it up and uh so it's good that it's keeping up but it's it's uh it, well, he, here's my question with it, and this is the, the question I posed on Reddit, is, you know, okay, say tomorrow went up a thousand percent, right? Does mm-hmm. does electronics still stay in Shenzhen? That's my question. Go. Go. <laughs> it, well, it's it's already moving away from China. There's right. already, we've talked about a lot of companies moving Back, moving but their manufacturing not back. Not really. I mean, it's we, creeping up. No, we not, say that, you know. but not really. Okay, like we're talking no, it's like still less than one percent, right? right yeah. Okay, so we're talking, but but it is a sign. So if it went up an order of magnitude, yes, that can swing it in the opposite direction, or it moves off. You know, it moves off to India. It moves off to the next cheapest location, right? In Indonesia right? or wherever. Yeah, else, right? Indonesia, wherever, right? Yeah. You know, it's. I mean, you know, there's nothing special. About uh, you know China, and it's just that they had a lot of people, and they worked cheap, or they used to, right? Well, that I don't was know. It. I mean, like, right. Right, so think about well, here, it here's... helps. It helps helps with the communist, um, you know, uh, thing. Helps uh, a lot, yeah. as we said. The old dictatorship works well. Yeah, in unilateral terms of actions stuff against done, you yeah. know for for tax breaks and everything else, right? I mean, they're going to continue to try and get investment, so they'll mm-hmm. make incentives. But my point is that. 
like it's it's it, what about critical mass though right that that's exactly the argument that was made when all that stuff came out about apple right and they were talking about oh would they ever move back and they said i think it was when this jobs biography came out um it they said no he, we wouldn't have done it because we couldn't have gotten the 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 supply chain that we need in order to do this at, at the scale mm-hmm. that we need and and that's my question is if if wages went up a thousand percent tomorrow, is is it possible to replicate Shenzhen elsewhere? Well, no, there's not because not not instantly because the infrastructure's not there. They've built up this infrastructure over a lot, you know, over twenty years or something like that. You know, right? Yeah, yeah, where exactly. Everything's there. The special you know, zone, right? Yeah, you know, everything, and they've got twenty million billion assembly machines, and they've got all the parts are there, and everything else, and it's just, you know. Right, and well, that's what I'm saying, a, though. Like, it is a one-stop shop. Yeah, I know. Then you are correct. No, it's not going to instantly go back. It can't. It yeah, can't the seg market's happen. there, right? I mean, like right? we, yeah. we've seen the videos. The seg market it, is unbelievable, right? I know. It it can't happen. It can't happen overnight. But that doesn't mean it can't happen over the span of a decade or twenty years. That okay? I'll, I'll yeah, I agree. And with there's that. a lot of people saying that that's going to be the case because you know all these Chinese uh, people are you know getting up in arms. We want better. Hey, we want you know to, we want a first world uh, you know standard of living and all that sort of stuff and well that costs money. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, that's. I mean, we'll we'll see because it, it, I guess the real question then after after that, right? So we say, okay, yeah, ten years from now, it's not going to be there anymore. Which, yeah, whatever. Um, where where oh, does it's it go? Still going to be there, but it won't be. Yeah, the shift yeah. might. Go but to but does else. it does it actually start moving back to more you know high wage countries anyways? I mean, uh, hmm. you know, do you say well it's you know going to get you get robotic, you know because because everything's going to SMT because there's yep. less uh, mechan you know human assembly stuff, you know more robotic assembly hmm. what we've talked about before then maybe maybe the US looks okay maybe maybe Australia looks okay I don't know I don't maybe. know how this. I don't know where but it goes next. The, but the ace up their sleeve, of course, is that all the components are manufactured there. Ah, right, that's a good that, point. That's the ace up their sleeve. Okay, yeah. will they become a, just a supply country and not a you know a turnkey good, assembly yeah. country anymore? Right, they might go back to the supply model of where they just you know supply the individual parts and they don't do as much labor anymore. Yeah. Maybe that you know, but uh, because it it takes many decades for fab plants to move out of countries and spread elsewhere in the world, right? That's, yeah. that's well, they don't really move, right? Tomorrow. They just they just they they become decrepit and then they just don't do anything with them. They just let them die. Yeah, really, it's, they yeah, become exactly. brown fields, <laughs> <laughs> right? They don't upgrade. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I guess that uh, you know if there's a new if there's a new fab, who's the one? Is it UMC is in China, I believe? Um, maybe they're in Hong Kong. Um, but yeah, you know, like if they build a new fab there, yeah, of course they're not going to abandon it tomorrow because that's stupid, right? That, or if you're just building exactly. a new factory now, you're stupid. Even if wages go up, you just, you know, you just, just, you just do what you got to do. Push right? on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You get so efficiency. You make that return on your investment. Yeah. Uh, well, another, another argument there too is that what does China do when wages start to go up? They do the same thing the U.S. does when wages start to go up. They, 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 they start working on if making more efficient processes, right? You know, you don't mm. put 10 people on a job that takes two people in reality. You actually, yep. you know, you do some Six Sigma crap and you, you know, you optimize your manufacturing processes and, and not to, don't get me wrong. I mean, I know that they're doing a lot of that now as well, but, um, you know, like a lot of those gains were coming in the productivity gains in the U S were coming from, um, manufacturing side of things and, and manufacturing engineering stuff. So, um, mm. Instead of throwing people at it, you throw process at it, basically. Right. So maybe we'll see that. I don't know. It's just it's an interesting question because, like you said, man, everything's there, right? I mean, like especially <laughs> exactly. the com- component it's all stuff, you know. And so hopefully- that, that's not going to go away in the next twenty years, at least. You know, that's uh, just going yeah. to continue to be the case. So yeah, it built up in twenty years. It, it. it could go up. It could go away in ten. Twenty years. years is a long time, but you know, it is a long time. At, at, the absolute minimum ten, right? Not not yeah. much is going to change in the next ten years, guaranteed. You're I, a fool I would, if you yeah, bet. I'd give it ten years. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, minimum. The crazy and thing. Interest- oh, go ahead. An interesting tidbit I discovered when yeah. I was on the life sucking force, which is Wikipedia. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how I ended up on it. Did you know that the NSA, it makes sense, the NSA, as in the National Security, US National Security Agency, have their own fat plant? I did not know that. That's interesting. They've, they've got one at Fort Meade or wherever they're, yeah, Fort Meade, I think, is their, you know, their location where they've got 10,000 people working and the big... Yeah building is and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, apparently they have their own fab plant, which makes sense because they need to do their own special encryption yeah. decoding fabs and all that sort of stuff. And, um, yep. Yeah. Uh-oh, yeah. there's someone at the door. Your door? Hang is on. It, yeah, Jeff Kaiser? sorry. It could, it could be a courier. This could be important. I'm not sure if the wife's still oh, home. God, I hope, a, I hope it's carry a cardboard thing. Carry on, carry on. Oh, I have to... Oh, great, yeah. So I go from the usual uh, no guest to just up by myself now. <sighs> So what else is on the list? Actually, I just talked to Jeff. Jeff is not going to be able to make it because of the port blocking at Valve. But we'll see. Maybe next time Jeff will get on here. So what else is on the list? Um, hmm. No, we ran through that last week. <laughs> Someone talked to me last week about this. It's like, oh, well, when Chris gets on there by himself and Dave goes to answer the door, it gets to be really awkward. And we're we're there. And? I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. Oh, and yes, it was. It's my DigiKey package. Woo-hoo. Oh, DigiKey. <laughs> I thought oh, it was going to be no, your cardboard I've cutout. I've got to do this for the. This is for the trade show. I'm I trying to get my. I thought you were going to do cardboard my... cutout. <laughs> no, well, yeah, I know. I was like, but no, this is more important. I was trying to get my USB power supply running before the show. Um... My uh, prototype. So. Yeah, um, these are the parts. Dude, I'm totally awkward when you go to the door. That's not cool. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to. I, was I know you do. Yeah, you didn't even there, right? I wasn't home. I know. She snuck out somewhere, and I thought that might have been the case. And well, <laughs> you know, don't you no, guys leave I packages? These. Don't you have? Don't you have that in Australia where you can like? Oh, uh, we sometimes you can sign the waiver that said, you know, if oh, I like, signed, like for yeah. FedEx, I sign the thing that says please leave all future packages there, yeah. and they don't. They don't like really? it. Doesn't work. Uh, no, it doesn't. So, I don't. Yeah, it's lame. So, I what are you doing on the on the uh, the USB power? I was going to ask you about that, anyways. What's what's going on with that? Oh, um, it, I rushed a uh, prototype board through. It's um, it's it's done. I haven't done a video on it yet, but um, I tweeted a couple of photos of the board. So, if Ew. you follow me on Twitter, which you should be doing, yeah, then, uh, you, yeah, you know, <laughs> 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 then you would have got my. Uh, the, Talk about the TSA, uh, the um, Fab Plan at the oh, yeah, NSA. Yeah, yeah. I can just—that's where Dave keeps all his links for the week. I do them on Reddit. Dave keeps them on, <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, d- uh, yeah, I've my USB uh, power supply. I've um, I do, I, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to do a spoiler. Wait, but you can probably set, see if you set, have a look at the photo anyway. I'm look at it right now. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, yeah. So I, yeah. I saw you tweeted a board. I didn't know what it was. Right. And you got your yeah. little platypus on there in the silk screen. That's, oh, that's, I managed to squeeze it there. There's always room for a platypus. Yeah. <laughs> Squeezed it in there. And um, it, it's a combination of I'm pretty happy with the design. I hope it works. I rushed it. Uh, yeah. I really rushed it together at the last minute, you know, hoping to get a, a board back in time. And I ah, did. That's good. So, um, we were talking about that last week. That's good. You you said you were going to do that. So Yeah. That's great, and man. And it's good to set a deadline. See, I've been dicking around on that USB <laughs> yeah. power supply, scratching my bum, doing nothing for the last couple of months. And, you know, all of a sudden, oh, deadline, I'll yeah. do it for the show. Oh, shit. And then, yeah. <laughs> you know, engineers really go into overdrive when they have that known deadline. They're very good at it. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny too hearing you say this because because you you've complained in the past about the about the the night before a trade show or being at the trade show still yeah, soldering yeah. in the morning, and now right. you're doing it to yourself. <laughs> I know exactly. And the thing is, it always gets done. It does somehow. Yeah. I, it's, it's it's tough bizarre. too because you it's, can't just you can't just say oh well Tuesday's a deadline. It's like yeah, you know that's not really a deadline, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like, exactly. No. Trade show is the deadline. You have to have some you have to have some kind of juice behind it, right? You need something yep. for real. I wonder if there's like a market in like setting up a, you know, like hiring some guy that would offer to break your legs. You know, you hire him. <laughs> right. you know, if you didn't well, get if I'm not done, done by <laughs> Thursday, you come break my leg. No, no, no I was kidding. You're fired. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. And yeah, it's that innate ability of engineers, I think. They don't like it's not like you when you formally do a procedure and you, you know, you're all. Uh, me, and, you know, nice and organized and all I'm that not sort of that stuff. Organized, just because no, I well, keep yeah, links somewhere and I keep a, a calendar. Tent. 
Yeah, Give me it's, a break. it's in your calendar for starters, right? A calendar, oh, crazy. Yeah, and you've probably got those Gantt charts too, right? No, I do not do Gantt charts. All ah, right. Okay. You know, I was actually dealing with that. You know, I used to be really into that stuff, to be honest. I used to be really into I was looking at like Agile and, you know, I'm planning right. like talk about Agile on, on my other podcasts and stuff like that. And it interests me, right? But lately I've been I've been having to update that stuff in my own projects, right? And I, I have a project manager, right? And I'm just like, you know, when I'm on this side of it, it blows, you know. <laughs> Say you've got yeah. a project you have got a project manager for your own personal projects. Yeah, it's it's See? that's it's tough, man. You're... <laughs> Well, like, no, it's just like I want to just closed. do the work. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to update. Oh, I have eight hours left. It's like I get, I, I <laughs> that's the worst part is I understand the benefits of it. I totally get it. And I don't want to do it. I just, I'm and just you like, don't? I don't want to do this. <laughs> because there's no one else to show it to. You yeah. know, there's no one else to do it for or to impress. You know, when, when you've got a boss or something, oh, yeah, no, you can no, no, show no. them this, progress. Because this is you're... a work. This is a work. I'm talking oh, about my real, oh, real sorry, day job. Were... I'm right. saying like, like. I'm all about like, you know, like keeping track of like agile and like doing like quick turnarounds and stuff like that and, Mm -hmm. you know, showing stuff off and everything. And just the, the administrative side of it is just so tedious and it's not even much. It's just, you know, filling in, oh, I did like four hours of work on this this week. It's not hard, but I was just like slogging through it being like, I hate this. Why? Now, if I Because you're an engineer. Engineers hate time they hate filling out time sheets they hate filling out weekly progress reports and crap like that it's just leave me alone right but but the, here's the thing i i know how useful that stuff actually is right i mean i right i know but i still can't hate, i still can't stand it right <laughs> what is that why why does that happen i don't i don't understand it's the innate engineer in you. It, so. it resists all other, you know, it's such a powerful force that it resists all other <laughs> <laughs> means of control, you know? I guess so, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. now if I had to do that for myself, yeah, if you're, like you were saying, with personal projects, mm. that would be yep. that would be ridiculous. I don't even know how to mm. begin to start. It's hard can... enough to get a bombing order for your own project. Yeah. Oh, let yeah, alone can... bloody, you like know, a Gantt, a Gantt chart. chart or oh, a, gross. You know, yeah. Exactly. You find someone who does that. You have you find someone who you have found someone who has like OCD or is just extremely organized or something. I don't yep. even know. I and they'd even... love working at a big military company. They would. Yeah. I would, yeah. They just if any oh, of our listeners heaven. do that for personal projects, I would love to see that or hear about that because I don't even know what that for would look sure. like. <laughs> yeah. Well, some people do awesome documentation on their own. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. On on their own projects. There's a few people that do stuff like that. So Yeah, but yeah. documentation They're is, out there. I feel like that's more of a drive to share than than it right. is to yeah. yes, track is. and improve, Granted. right? You yeah. know, like Yeah, because no one's ever gonna see your work you put into, you know, your your back end system to take care of your bombs and do your project management right. and all that sort of stuff. No one's ever gonna see it. Right. Unless you share it. I mean if you share it then that's good. But But what's the point in sharing it? Well, I mean, like, if you, if you develop a new bomb calculation system, right, and you right, share that okay, algorithm right, okay, or you share the it. software, yeah. that would be different. That's not what you're talking yeah. about, though. Huh. No, that, that's a different ball game. Yeah. So how's your day job going anyway? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I can't talk I'm about shrug. it. Yeah, you'd rather not be, no, rather be doing oh, okay. this show full time, right? Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, if we get any, if you know, if there's any sponsors out there, we'd love to do this full time. I'd love to do this full time. Dave's already doing his own thing full time. Yeah. Yep. We'll and see. It's pretty cool. I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting yeah. around scratching your bum all day. Yep. <laughs> now I see something love on this board. I want to ask you about. You put the open source hardware logo on that, and and we've talked about open source hardware before in the past. Yep. Have do we talk about the logo craziness? Uh, yeah, I haven't kept... No, we haven't. Um, but I haven't kept track of that. I don't I know haven't what the either. latest is. I was gonna, so basically what the story is behind that is th- they got sued by the open source software people. <laughs> well, no, they <laughs> didn't get sued. sued. They're just, uh... No, they, they had concerns. They started to get the heebie-jeebies yeah. that if you... Is that a word? Is that a US word? Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. right. They started to get nervous, get the heebie-jeebies that because their, the open source hardware logo was a derivative, a clear derivative of... The open source um, software, yeah. The open source software logo that it infringes there that little key symbol in the middle that, te- right. and and they they're using it with with the permission of them, but yeah. then technically they own it and they're tied to whatever yeah 
you know. And, and there's they, like some they just got profit that, thing in there. Isn't it like something about like they have to actually know. pay money? I don't know. It was a big to do. I don't know. So, well, yeah. So their choice was the open source hardware groups. It's now a formal organization, by right. the way, if it's you don't know. You can, yeah. yeah, it's got members and, you know, directors and all that sort of jazz. It's a yeah, proper legal organization. But their their choices were basically to either license the logo from, you right. know, legally pay money and license the logo so then it's all, you know, squared off legally, you know, but I don't know how much that would cost per year to I, I thought it was a bit. It. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I was, I yeah, was I don't know. But anyway, that was one of the choices or – the other one was to do nothing and just go with it and hope that down the track the open source software community don't who own technically own the trademark on that logo or part of that logo don't sue them or you know do whatever and the third choice was to change it yeah and i think they're um, doing the third choice i think they're doing the third one i think yeah, they're yeah that's smart who cares to I mean, change it they yeah, had like fine. they had like hundreds of of uh, yeah. suggestions, so they'll just pick another one, and yeah. but and that's uh, coming up actually in late September, uh, later this month. They're having the open source hardware convention, or yes, they are. That's right, uh, the summit, open hardware summit, something like that. So I anyway, yeah. Wrong. So I don't know. Maybe I'm using the old logo, huh? I don't yeah, know. I don't think there's anything else to know about it yet, but yeah, no. I just but thought it was they, interesting. Yeah, they they are changing it, so just a heads up. Yeah. So, which you know is confusing, but. You know, it's you could argue that's better to bite the bullet now, right? Do it right. once, and then it's, yeah, uh, it's all done and dusted. Yeah. So, anyway, back back to the um, NSA chip fab. Yeah. They they have their own chip fab, and another interesting statistic that I tweeted. Of course, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll already know this. Um, <laughs> talking about low wages, apparently five percent of the people who work at the NSA live below the poverty line. Really? Yeah. It's on the wiki page uh, wow. for the NSA headquarters. And because it's its own jurisdiction in terms of the uh, census, huh. right, they, you can publicly get the census data, you know, how many males, how many females, oh, blah, 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 what their incomes them. are. And their average income is like uh, $28,000 or something. Ridiculous. And 5% of them live below the poverty line. And this is where you don't live here unless you work for the NSA, right? It's a closed community. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right? So yeah. how does this work? Like, <laughs> That's weird. Do they have no <laughs> money left after buying all their mainframes to pay anyone? I don't know. That's weird. I, I know. Yeah. But it's that's a le- that's an official stat from the Census Bureau. People fill in the census and they live in this NSA community. Because there's 10,000 people working there. Yeah. Right? And they yeah. all, you know, you, you cannot drive into this community. Right. It's you... like a special exit. We've talked about yeah. that, I think, right? Yeah, exactly. So Weird. Go figure. If anyone knows any more about that. Well, and... Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. I work for the NSA. I'd like so... to give you some information about this, Dave Jones. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just in, in general, in terms of the U.S., I mean, you, you might know. You might be up on it. You're a yank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, they, right. they give us that in the... Uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the U.S., right? <laughs> right, yeah. You just open it and ask what the NSA is all about. <laughs> what is the average wage in the U.S.? By the, you know, there's, there's talk about, oh, you know, the airline pilots are getting $30,000 a year or something ridiculous what? like that. No. I I think, like, well, they do it by, like, home home income, I think, is, like, 50K, 40 or 50K. Like, but that's, 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 for that's like combined. A, that's, like, a four-person household, though. Yeah. So, so that's both parents. That's both people working. Yeah. So the average wage would be t- what? It's lower. Twenty five. Yeah, it's lower. I don't know. You can, Ouch! Well, you're a Wikipedia f- fanatic. What the heck, man? No, I, I, I could find it. I just yeah. don't know. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't have the Hitchhiker's Guide to the U.S. Mm. here. You know. <laughs> anyway, it's all not going to matter when the U.S. collapses again financially. So okay. it's going to happen, folks. Mark my words. All right, well. Sorry, dude. Join Dave in shorting yeah, every stock. I'd be. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, the amp oh, hour. Boy. Financial advice is not meant to, uh, you know, make any money or anything, so. <laughs> yes. Do not take financial or life advice from engineers, folks. That's right. That's a... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I thought that's interesting that they've got their own fab, and it makes sense because then they can develop their own chips in-house. Yeah. You know, without the security, you know, problems of getting them made somewhere else. They can vet every single person who works there and, you know, yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know how big or what scale it is. I'm, you know, I don't think it's a big, you know, Intel scale fab or anything. But you know, a little niche. No, yeah, and you don't need for much. Doing... If, so yeah, if you're doing, you know, you could do, you know, 180 nanometers, still do some cool stuff. Oh right? yeah, oh still, yeah, exactly. Especially if you, you know, you don't care about the size of the thing. If you care more about well, the, well, you don't because they they just parallel everything up, right? They just manufacture a million of them and right. parallel it up. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends what you're using you know, it for, right? A megawatt. If you're you know. using it for you know, like data center stuff, that's different than if you're using for like handheld stuff, right? Yeah, handheld you... consumer, yeah, right. like, because you've got to go smaller because the smaller, you know, uh, smaller geometry you go, the lower power you get, you know, the more bang per uh, buck in terms of, you know, power per speed and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, yeah, I mean, if you're not constrained by that sort of, those sort of power budgets, yeah, you can use an old style fab. Yeah, yeah. heck, only 140 nanometers, you know. Yeah. Shock. Speaking of a uh, monolithic company that uh, makes chips, <laughs> uh, Texas Instruments actually just had a design contest for uh, oh. seniors in college. So like, uh, it's 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 over. It's done. It's it's done. Yeah, it's done. it was it was a while ago actually. They so they it's it's for basically college seniors could for like senior projects they could write to TI and they could say, you know, I need you know this 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 and this chip. You know, and they'll give them free samples, and then they, you know, cool. had to just had to make a video out of it and and they show it off, and then they can enter it with like a yeah, poster contest or something like that. So this is um high school students. No, this is college. This is college. Oh, college is in uni. Oh, sorry. Yeah, university. Yeah, university. Right. Yeah. Okay. And so you know what this really is, right? This is this is recruiting. I mean, this is just straight oh, up. Of course, this, yeah, of course yeah, it is. This is just yeah, like of course it straight is. up. Yeah. We want people to uh, you know compete for prize money, and then we're going to try to hire them with even more prize money. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And it is brilliant. <laughs> it's all anal- it's a lot of analog stuff too. That's the other that's the other part of it. So that's what catches my attention, obviously. And uh, you know, like it's right. Uh, so so these are existing engineering students that can enter. Yes, exactly. Right. And uh, you know, there's some there's some, they, and they call it the. Uh, in gen in 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 gigbus <laughs> engibus huh? engibus prize maybe e n g i b o u s engibus i don't know i was i was saying it enigbus but i spelled it wrong before so unless i oh i see it yeah yeah, yeah that is just stupid made up word what i think it's right, i think it's someone's name i'm sure he appreciates that all <laughs> <laughs> right sorry dude <laughs> <laughs> your name sucks uh yeah but yeah, uh, you know, there's some there was some cool projects in here though. I was actually I looked at uh, mm. the the group from my alma mater, uh, Case Western Reserve. They they did a right. cool little uh, combo, uh, you know, like DMM and oscilloscope with a bunch of TI chips. That was pretty cool. Um, and then this Excellent. the the winning team was from Rice, and they got a uh, they had like a, what was it? It was like a mobile station. It, it definitely. What was mm-hmm. it? The mobile vision. That's what it was. So you could, uh, oh, I see it. Yep. yeah, you could do like a retinal scan, and then you could like nice. do something with like a, it like talk to like a you know an Android phone or something like that. There's... So does their school give them support for this? Can they get credit towards their final project or something? Yeah, it's it's meant for final products projects. It, it, basically, it's like oh, if okay, you're doing a final right. project, write to TI. Got I'll it. give you a bunch of free chips, and then we'll try and hire you. And then you get that approved by yeah, your professor. Exactly. And, you know, that's right. Okay, got exactly. it. Exactly. Because yeah, I didn't think they would get many if they had to. You know if they weren't getting credit towards their degree because they'd be so busy finishing off their own final right. project that exactly. they wouldn't have time to do this. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. That, that's why some are very good because they've probably been working on it for six months, right? Oh, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the, yeah, this is right. some serious stuff. I mean, it's not like it's not yeah. like cobble it together right. over a weekend. This is like... Right, so this is a final year project kind of stuff where you put, you know, half the effort into your report as yeah. well as the hardware, so... Right, exactly. And that's why it's great for, cool. you know, a design contest yeah. too because it is so... It's got it's got some meaty chunks to it, right? I mean, so you know, it's good to yeah. check out, and and it's got some cool stuff too. I mean, like with especially with like a optics kind of thing, right? I mean, if you're if you're scanning someone's retina, you know, like that's some that's mm. some cool stuff, right? I mean, like that's not something you know if they're working with a college professor, then they probably have some very specified advice as well. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. I like it. I approve. Way Thumbs up. Yeah, winners all around. Especially those kids <laughs> getting analog jobs, <laughs> which. <laughs> Are you know? I'm, I keep telling people, man. You know, there's big money in analog, huh? There is, you know. All right. 
Yeah, I'm just saying. It's it's more so. You know, I I feel like I have to uh, like put a disclaimer with that. You know, especially if you're working for a chip company, right? If you're if mm-hmm. you're working as a as a chip designer, big money. Of course, you're going to be you know you'll be working on a PLL circuit somewhere in a dark room, but uh, you know it's there's just <clears throat> there's fewer and fewer people that can do it. So, are there various pay grades? Like, do you actually double if you actually grow a, a beard? Oh. And then it doubles again if it's gray. <laughs> Once it goes gray, is that? That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh yep. man! Oh, this this guy must be good. He's got a grey beard. You exactly. Know? You've got to pay him double. He's yeah, got to exactly. Go up, you know? <laughs> go up in pay grade. What's this crap on the list? How much longer will dip packages survive? Uh, that was an honor. Uh, what have you put this on here for? That was me. I, yeah, why? That was a real thing. You think they're going to stick? Well, it's good. We talked about it already, I think. But yeah, yeah, we probably have. Well, here's the real thing. So it's from Chip Report TV, right? I, I do all these chips, right? And it's like, oh, well, this is Tiny mm-hmm. Chip One, Tiny Chip Two, right? And people have been writing to me, and they say, well, I don't give a crap. It's not, it's not <laughs> dip, right? And yep. And I'm like, well, you're not going to have. I mean, I, I've seen one product announcement in the past five years that's been a dip, mm-hmm. a dip part, and it was that Cortex M0 from NXP. And it was yep. very specialized in that they put it in a dip package because they were very specifically targeting the hobbyist market. We talked about that on here. Why? Here's an idea. Why don't the manufacturers don't they may not produce dip packages anymore? But why don't they sell them as as converter boards? Converter boards, like as in fully assembled converter boards. Just like, I guess it's easier and cheaper from to just do a dip version, right? They Maybe, to sell their surface mount no, chip, man, but they offer it. They actually offer it. You can buy it through DigiKey. There's no money in it. Where is the money in that? There's none. I know, but I, well. <laughs> you're just Yeah, you're I just guess it's the same it, argument, right? right? You're just, you yeah. just pay more, yeah. If anything. You may as well do the dip pack. Did we talk, we talked about this last week. See, this is the problem. I'm sure we, we did. We were going to have two whole weeks between episodes that I could have, you know, passed it off as, oh, well, we didn't talk about dip last week. But we totally talked about dip last week. And it's got me, I was thinking about it more because we were talking about it last week. There's no, there's no money in it. Best case scenario, right? You have someone who mm-hmm. goes out and, you know, buys, you know, like you see all these product announcements now where companies are actually selling bare dye. I mean, they've always done that, but you had to kind of, yep. you kind of had to, you know, know somebody, not know somebody, you had you to had buy to a shitload spe- of them. You had to be special. You couldn't right. walk in there right, and I'll, exactly. I'll have 10 bare be- be- dye, please. Right. Know. And now, now I see part numbers coming out and it's like, you know, MSP 430 die And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is this thing telling me to die? And then, uh, then, I, then I calm down and I say, oh, it's no, it's the bear die. They're just selling that because, you know, people put them down on boards. They put the black goop on them. And then they, you know, they, they, it's, yeah. it's a real thing, right? We've talked about that here. And Absolutely. So best case scenario, you have a uh, third party packaging, you know, you buying those bear die because you can get them easily now. And then, you know, someone's just doing, doing a die bonder and then they, package it up in the you know in the in a dip package and they sell that they they basically are just a packager Mm. that's the best case right yep now you're gonna have to pay about you know a two dollar chip is gonna become a ten dollar chip and no one's gonna want to pay that so just they might as a (sighs) one-off maybe i don't think so It's, it's like way back in the old days you would pay a buttload more for the microcontroller with the erasable window on it Right, because mm, the... that was an expensive package. Yeah, right. I mean, you know, I'm talking way, way back before you were born. Right. No, I get it. And uh, yeah, but uh, that was a real thing. You know, you would pay ten times the price of the normal chip. You would buy that special windowed erasable nah. micro. Here's right? the because here's the difference. Th- that 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 was your development chip. You'd, right. You knew you had to pay more for it. Here's the difference: having an erasable window or erasable, as you say. Yep. The difference there is there's an economic advantage. You do that because you don't want to have to keep popping new chips into the programmer. You want to just erase it, put it back yeah, in, true. and program it, right? In the case of a hobbyist using a dip package, right, paying more money is – eventually you're just going to have someone say, well, I'll just – I'll do a breakout board. I don't care. It's yeah, just cheaper. Yeah, true. It rules out the – yeah, it does rule out the hobbyist. Yeah. Yeah, it's got – yeah, there's a very niche window there where it's too expensive for hobbyists, but – it's not, you know, there, there's very few pros who would bother with yeah. dip. They're going to go straight to PCB. Yeah. Now here, right, all right, so, I just came yeah. up with this. Here is a brilliant new thing. Not a brilliant, it's not new. It's not new and it's not that brilliant. But I want to see someone do this because I don't have time to do this. We need someone to do a Kickstarter 
for an easy board prototyping system, right? We need either it, it could be an acid bath, it could be a, you know, it could be a board router. I don't care what it is. It's that's, like your mythical chip printing machine. A PC it just spits out PCBs yeah, like just, they're nothing. Yeah, right? it could just it could just be a PCB milling machine. I don't care. That's that's got to be the next Kickstarter that I see because that's that's the next thing that you need, right? I mean that that's the next step mm-hmm. is because even going from an SOIC out to a dip package or something prototypable, right? I mean, you need that kind of thing. So you need the PCB. Yeah, yeah we need MakerBot of of the the PCB milling machine. And don't say LPKF. Someone's going to say LPKF, and it's like, yeah, sure. When I have forty grand <laughs> sitting around, I will go straight to LPKF. But until then, <laughs> I need low cost piece of crap bought on Kickstarter board milling machine. <laughs> so get on it, people. There's an article in this month's Silicon Chip for a cheap ass PCB. Milling machine. No. Or it's not, it's like it's a cutter, but they've modified it to be a PCB milling machine. And it's like a couple hundred bucks. Oh, well, maybe it's already been done. I, I uh, Sorry, it's, uh, the edition's not here, it's at the lab. So oh, okay. um, well, I can't access post it, it later, but... straight up. But yeah, I will have to post it in the notes. And it's, yeah, I, th- I went and looked at it. Holy crap, that's cheap. And well, those results aren't too bad. It's like fussy to use. Right. And stuff like that. See, that's the other thing, right? It's that whole, you know. Well, it's that's the, right. You want to push a button, right? And you want yeah. it to pop out. It's the same thing. It's the same argument for, you know, plastic 3D extruded printers. 3D printers, right? Exactly. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're fussy. But you got to start yeah. somewhere, right? And the people that want it exactly. will do it. And, yep. uh, and that's the thing. Like, I, th- I think a lot of people, I always say board cutter, right? And people are like, what are you talking about? But, you know, PCB mm. milling machine, right? It's a little drill yep. bit. You just cut out the copper clad. It's got to be something better, though. I mean, best case scenario, I think, would be like a squeegee acid bath kind of thing. But it's there's no good oh, way to no, do it anything still. Anything that involves chemicals is going to suck. Yeah, that's true. It's going to suck ass. It's bad enough with the milling machine with all the du- fiberglass dust I and know. shit and, around. You know, and the, the best case scenario right. would be like a you know a, a, a inkjet type printer where you lay down like a silver silver base. A, a conductive, yeah. yeah that, 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 that has be to best. be the solution. That would have to be the solution. <sighs> Get on it, people. Get on it. Come on. Mm. We need it. <laughs> yep, I know. But then you've got to, you know, you've got to have that drill as well to drill the holes. Because ultimately, true. you're going to have some connectors or wires coming off your board that require that through hole thing. Yeah, that's Although, true. Although I, I guess it would be popular even if it just didn't drill holes, even if it just, you know, etched it out or laid down the tracks, the conductive tracks in ink or whatever. Mm-hmm. That would be, you know, eighty percent there. Yeah, it'd be better. You can't. You yeah, can't do I, that last. I agree. It'd be hugely popular. You can't. You can't do the drilling holes last though. You have to do drill holes first because if you uh, if you print out or even when you're doing like a, a you know PCB milling, right? You have to. Um, mm. If you if if you don't drill the holes first, say you say you route out around, you know, like a usual via where it gets you know it looks like a little lo- yep. lollipop flavor. If you do that first and then you try and drill in the middle of the lollipop, it'll just rip that trace right up. Mm. So you can't do that. So that's that's the only downside of that kind of thing. We're going to have to post edit this and remove this because no. we're going to make a fortune from this dude. We're yeah, gonna, right. We can we can see the work on it in the background. All right, I'm going to go. On, I'm going to go start making a Gantt chart. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> you can Jones. project manage the thing. I'll oh, do the grunt work. <laughs> you know, like and how, whenever you start doing like a project, you you start uh, you know you come up with the BS uh, you know like categories and tasks and stuff, and it's like step <laughs> yeah. one. Think of ideas. <laughs> Step two, begin to execute ideas. Step, Step three, three, become rich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Profit. <laughs> oh, oh boy. my god. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think we need to post edit this, Dave. I think I think we'll yep. be okay. <laughs> but oh. if anyone wants to take that idea and run with it, I am A okay. I will I will sign up for the uh the T-shirt on your Kickstarter, <laughs> and, I, and I will buy it three years later when it's refined. <laughs> oh no! All you have to do, see, I went to one of these meetup things. You know, I go to a couple of these meetup. You know, it's a website yeah. meetup, and there was yeah, an yeah. entrepreneur. There was a local entrepreneurial thing. It was just around the corner. I thought, yeah, okay, you know, I'll turn up, and uh, and um, oh, you know, it was all very, you know, Anthony Robbins type. You know, all oh, you have yeah, to do yeah. is think about it and it will happen. You know, <laughs> it's like, wow, great. You know, yay. All my oh. project dreams are going to come true. There, there's names for people like them. that. It's uh, one, uh, Ian, one of the guys that was on this show, he calls them uh, entrepreneurs. There's also, uh, <laughs> uh, there's, oh, there's other ones too. Shit. Nice. 
Yeah, there's other ones too. Yeah, it's people people right. that, that like are so about the idea of being an entrepreneur versus entrepreneur actually that, yeah. doing stuff. That's the key. Is like, oh come yeah. on, man. I'll call myself an entrepreneur when I'm you know sitting on a billion, right? At that point, right. I've been yeah, an yeah. entrepreneur, right? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I would probably only call myself an entrepreneur if I was funding other entrepreneurs. Eh, maybe, maybe. You know, if I was like angel funding, if I had the money to. Angel fun. Then again, I wouldn't even call myself that. Yeah. It's a sucky term. I it is a it. shitty term, you know? So, same as inventor. Or oh, I'm an inventor. Right. You know? Oh, it bugs me. Those those two terms are really shitty. Yeah, but you could say that about a lot of terms. I mean, even like maker. Yeah, true. Maker is becoming kind of like, Maker, eh, well, you can, you know. Eh. Well, yeah. so I think it's better than inventor. That's true. It's, it's so more overused. You know, there's so many people who are leeching off the term that it's... right. Yeah, at at least the people who are making, who are calling themselves makers, are actually making shit. That's true. Yeah, you know, and and yeah, so, and that's the good ones, right? I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, I I try not to be self-referential. Uh, <laughs> but they call themselves an inventor because they came up with an idea and they paid five thousand dollars to get it patented, and then they yeah. call themselves an inventor. You know, they haven't actually produced anything yet. Yeah, you know, or done anything meaningful. They've just yeah you know, entered the system, and uh, they call themselves an an inventor it bugs me. <laughs> yeah, I when I hear the term inventor, I think of um, there's these commercials on around here. It's it's those companies that are like, "Are you an inventor?" And then they they have <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that, that's you know, they're trying to of, yeah. you know buy ideas. I don't even know what they're trying to do there, but they're um, <laughs> it's always this caveman, you know, like ch- yeah, chiseling yeah. away at a wheel. And I'm like, that's what I always <laughs> think of whenever I hear the term inventor. Right. Uh, oh yikes. boy. Or or I uh, often I think of. Um, the uh, scene from the Gremlins. Have you seen the Gremlins, or are you too yeah. young for Gremlins? Oh, I've seen right? Gremlins, yeah. where, the, where the guy invents the bathroom buddy. Yeah, <laughs> right? it's like he's come. Up, you know, he's a serial inventor, right? And he's trying to be he's a full time professional wares. inventor, yep. and yep. he and he tries to win. You know, think up something that'll meet some mythical market need. Right, you know? exactly. And yeah, rather it's... than just doing something that he enjoys, or you know, something that he wants to do because he wants to do it. Right. You know. No, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Ah oh boy, I only got five, I only got five minutes left. What what do we got? Mm. What are the dregs? NASA selling surplus electronics. <laughs> it's weird. There's I've, I I but awesome, right? Well, it it's doesn't say what awesome. it is, right? That's the problem. And and so it's like out in Connecticut, I think, or something like that. But basically, I saw this. I I got like a Google alert for electronics or something like that, and I saw this in there, and it's fbo.gov whatever that is i think it's like something budget oh federal federal biz opportunities yeah bureau of opportunity yeah, yeah. federal biz, federal business opportunities right and so it says their surplus sale of excess nasa equipment and it doesn't say anything else and i'm just like no i want to know what this is because it could just be you know it could just be like you know highly spec resistors right or it could be yeah. like it could be like prototypes of the rover, you know? Like, exactly. Oh, I know. I That's want that. A... Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I would so turn up to that. I, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, an, a... it's an auction, is it? Is it a oh, auction it... format or what is it? Uh, it's just got a point of contact. So it's like I yeah. think they only cater to oh, big buyers. You know, though those big auction houses who buy pallet loads worth exactly. of crap. Yep. Right. Yeah. Bummer. Yeah, so if you're in yeah. Danbury, Connecticut, that's where the auction's going to happen. Yep. Um, Take and, a video camera along, oh please. God, that'd be so cool, but it's probably going to be we'll boring. Let's it. be honest. I mean, it's probably going to be. Yeah, maybe, but oh, it's probably going to yeah, be resistors. I would so turn up to it. Yeah. I don't in, know, man. In order to submit bids, but how can we submit a bid when we don't? Oh. Yeah. Uh, five bucks, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you know, like it's like you got to start somewhere. <laughs> five five bucks per pallet. You know. Yeah. Exactly. And there's. Uh, but there's companies that do that. They buy pallet loads worth of this stuff, and they're oh, the yeah. resellers on eBay. You know, they buy a pallet yeah, they, load they worth of Yeah, they just buy it based on statistics, right? Yeah. They're just like, well, yeah. there's bound to be something worthwhile in here. And, yep, you know. exactly. Yeah, there's there's actually oh. uh, shitty TV shows in the U.S. about that, too. Oh, is there? <laughs> yeah, right. oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> I do not watch them. <laughs> I'm a bit of a fan of pickers. Have you seen that? Yeah, I was watching that this weekend, actually. I, uh, 
like you know, it, I, I I just like the guys in it. I think their you know, personalities are great. I, I yeah, just like that's it. good. But you know, it's also the junk aspect. You know, like yeah, yeah, electronics exactly. people are pack rats you know. by nature, right? You have to be. Yeah, because that, that's right. You need a junk bin. You need stuff to pull from. It's like we don't yeah, throw I, stuff I, out. I enjoy watching people's garages. You know, they right. go into people's garages full of you know twenty million pinball machines or something. Right, know, and awesome. it's like, but I don't get where. Like, people just keep buying outhouses or whatever they're called, outbuildings, right? And it's like, that's where they keep storing stuff. But, like, where does this stuff come from? I I, that, <laughs> I never understand that. I mean, I guess it's just somewhere between being a hoarder and something else. But, yeah, I, I feel like and that's the kind of thing. most of it was acquired before the days of eBay. You know, yeah. now it's like, you know, before the online right. days of, uh, you know, of just being able to sit back, oh, click, 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 you right. know, buy, 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 and right. have exactly. all this shit turn up. Yeah, you know. Do you ever? Back I mean, then, do you, you ever buy like, in a bit of effort to? I guess you this stuff. You do that with like test equipment sometimes, right? You'll buy it on a whim, just in, in. Oh yeah, I'll just buy it on a whim. I see it on eBay, and I go, oh yeah, yeah, that's a good price. I'll buy it. You know, hmm. I've it's never a done bargain. that. <laughs> yeah, not? yeah, it's a bargain. That's the worst thing, right? When you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have to buy it, right? So oh, I, yeah. I have to buy it. It's a bargain. Somebody yeah. else, else, otherwise, somebody else will get that bargain. <laughs> My <right>? precious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a sickness. Yeah. It's a, yeah, oh, man. man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I used to buy and sell multimeters because I just enjoyed it. Yeah, and, and other gear, oscilloscopes and stuff. Oscilloscopes are harder because they're bigger and, you know, the postage and packing is a pain in the ass. But, you know, small stuff like multimeters was, you know, oh, bought and sold so many. Yeah. Do you fix oh, them man. up ever or no? You just buy them? Uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, I'd rub the numbers off and I'd sell, you know, I'd polish them up and I'd sell them like, you know, you know, I'd always make money out of it hmm. because I I knew what something was right. worth, yeah. you know, and yeah. What's that called? Arbitrage? And sometimes or... you would take a chance, you know, yeah. you take a chance on that one that's, you know, I have no idea if this works. I don't know what this thing does, you know, and, right. and you take a chance on it and right. um, m- most of the time it works out. And if not, then you just you just say, I well, don't know if this works, and you sell it again. Well, you just... <laughs> <laughs> or it sits in your it's garage, exactly. right? <laughs> exactly. You just, yeah. yeah, toss it in or the Or now in your you lab. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ah, oh, boy. Mm. Anyway, our amp hour's up, I think. I think, I think we... we're smack on time, actually. <sighs> Weird. I think we... Mm. Uh... Yeah, we made it for this week, huh? We'll yeah, see if, uh, last if we can't get Bob back next week. Uh, it was unfortunate, the, the timing. He was he was sad he couldn't be here. But thank you to everyone who filled out questions too. That was uh, it was, it was yes, good yeah, good showing. They won't go to waste. We will get him back on and we will yeah. ask those questions. And we actually have three guests out right now. We have uh, we have three guests scheduled. So I'm looking forward to all of them. And awesome. we will, we will find out who those other ones are very soon. And speaking of next week, I will be at the electronics trade show electronics with an x yeah ex.com.au nice so any aussies out Ooh. there go find dave and it's and say yeah. great scott <laughs> that was great that, right? scott will be the password come great up scott. to me and say great scott i'm fairly sure at this stage i'll have a uh, freebie for you you should do something though it's more more embarrassing where it's like i cannot do it captain <laughs> <laughs> I, I i like great scott though yeah in case with the Back to the Future thing, I'll probably have the, a couple of Back to the Future posters up in my boat, up in my booth. <laughs> I'll have my have, out of time. People who don't know plate. who you are are going to have no idea. What I you know do. it's great. It's That's great. the idea. Yeah. And so what the hell's going on in this booth? Have like, intrigue. Who are you? <laughs> you know, you've got a cardboard cutout of yourself, <laughs> yeah. and you've got Back to the Future posters. Who, who what the this, hell are you this, selling? This twelve-year-old kid into this into this electronic show, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can wear the Marty McFly hat. Oh, there you go. I've got a Marty McFly cap. Nice. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, have a good time with the show, man. We'll do. We'll see you next week. Bye. I'm looking for tips. Like, I, I feel like I should leave and see if you could do any better. I'm sure you could. Oh, no, right. Okay. No, I, I think I did it once and I sucked too. Yeah. yeah it's weird, right? It it's suck. just like you're not used to it. And then it's yeah. like, well. I know. Yeah. 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 It throws you off. Yeah. I, I think I did it once for some reason. You ran and had to do shut up a barking dog or something and I was left holding the bag. <laughs>